The Big Whack presents Buffalo on the Rise, sponsored by Dr. Kaplansky Dental Implants. Get new permanent teeth in 24 hours with our exclusive Teeth Now process. Welcome to the television show devoted to local business, Buffalo on the Rise, with your host, Joe Chili. There's an entrepreneurial spirit in Western New York that's putting our area on the cusp of greatness. Each week, Buffalo on the Rise features local business leaders and decision makers who are shaping our future. If it's about local business, we'll talk about it right here, right now, during Buffalo on the Rise. I'm Joe Chilly. On this edition of The Big Whack Presents Buffalo on the Rise, find out how you can get your natural hair back. Meet Dr. Michael Wazork from HRA. Want to make your outdoor space fun and comfortable? The folks at Flamingo have just what you need. And are you suffering from chronic pain? Want to live pain-free? Dr. Christian Milioto from Western New York Pain Relief will change your life. All of that coming up on this edition of The Big Whack Presents Buffalo on the Rise. Welcome to Buffalo on the Rise. I'm your host, Joe Chili. We're talking with Dr. Michael Wazorek today and about something that everybody concerns themselves with, hair. I mean, you know, look at the, you know, my, my hair and your hair look, looks perfect, but it's something that everybody really worries about. And uh, can you actually give somebody their hair back if they lose their hair? Absolutely. Um, now there's expectations and there's degrees depending on the amount of hair loss and what has caused your hair loss. Uh, but very often, uh, most of the time, is going to be genetic, uh, androgenic uh, hair loss, which is your male pattern and female pattern hair loss. You know, once we've eliminated any uh, hormonal imbalance or any metabolic uh, issues that may be contributing to your hair loss that we can possibly reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. But reversing hair loss is one thing. Replacing hair that's no longer there involves... Uh, a simple outpatient procedure it takes one day. It's essentially painless. But we take excess hair that you have in other areas of your scalp and move it to areas where you don't have hair. It's completely painless. It is uh, completely natural and will last forever. Now, you're using your own hair because Correct. remember the old joke where people would say, oh, this is really dog's hair. And every time you <laughs> walk past a fire hydrant, your hair will go up on one side. But you know, <laughs> But you know, I haven't heard that one. Oh, but, okay. right. well, but you're using you're using your own hair. Yeah. And is is the process? I hate to ask this, but is it painful? It's really not. You're going to get a couple of pinches uh, to numb you up, but once you're numb, it's essentially a painless procedure. It's a longer day. It's going to take a, <clears throat> the majority of the morning. Most people can drive themselves to and from the procedure without any difficulty. Um, it's extremely well tolerated. It takes about three or four days to recover at home. Then you can start to get outside and back to your uh, normal routines. What about, you know, obviously I'm gonna think, you know, hair loss for men. I don't often think about hair <clears throat> loss for women, but is this a thing as well? It's huge. Um, hair loss for women, first of all, 60% of women will lose or notice thinning hair by age 30. Uh, it's just a fact, you're gonna look younger and healthier with hair. Uh, women in particular, they get crushed by this. They have all kinds of concealers for you know, decades. They've been using wigs, they've been using hats, different hairstyles, different colors, and, and what have you. Um, now there's, there's weaves and clip-ins. It's stunning, it was stunning to me as a hair restoration surgeon, oops, sorry for, um, <clears throat> that, that women lose hair at such a high rate. Now, there are male pattern and female pattern, but anybody can have either one of them. And I've seen women come in literally in tears, say they haven't taken their, their wig off in front of their own husband at home for a decade. And we can absolutely help these people and the, the the stigma that goes along with women losing hair is very real. And very often they don't talk about it like everybody talks about men's hair loss, right? So the, the first thing they have to know, women who are losing hair, you're not alone. There are thousands of women in this city alone that are losing their hair every day. I understand this and they can help you. What about the products like Hair Club for Men? 
Bosley or the pills mm -hmm. and the things that we <clears throat> see on TV. I mean, you know, we're uh, in a country where people want immediate gratification, right? Correct. Take a pill, you know, yeah. tomorrow you're gonna look like Sasquatch. Yeah. It doesn't happen, right? <laughs> Correct. Um, listen, pills, lotions, ointments, lasers, they're not gonna help you. Uh, there is a place for, for maintaining hair uh, in medication, but not for restoring hair. If it was that easy, no one would suffer from hair loss. There would be nobody walking around without hair. Take a pill, your hair grow back. Um, so it, it's important to know that once this is done, once you've lost hair, we have to just use other hair. And you have plenty of hair on your head to move around without looking thin in the back. Well, if you need hair, I, I, I've got some extra. Oh, the universal donor. Right? Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> universal donor, that's exactly yeah, well, right. People ask that every day, you can't use somebody else's hair. As for the hair club and the Bosleys out there, um, successful corporations, they've been around for a long time. By and large, they're prescription online issued things uh, where you can get their medications you know, directly uh, sent to your house without uh, doctor's uh, appointments. Bosley is more of a surgical hair restoration uh, outfit that will uh, evaluate you. And frankly, from this area, this location, I can tell you that they're gonna send you to Philadelphia or Chicago or New York City, somewhere out of town to have your procedure done. It's usually quite expensive and it involves traveling and accommodations. When I can do this procedure for you right here in Western New York for considerably less than what you're gonna have to pay overall over there. And with my credentials, being Western New York's only expert in hair restoration, I can guarantee you're gonna get as good or better hair transplants, hair restoration processes here with me than you are out of town with these companies. How do people start the process? process couldn't be easier. The number is easy. It's 500 hair. Give us a call. Initial consultations are absolutely free. Um, you, you come in, you sit down, you'll talk with me or you'll talk with one of my experts. Uh, we'll go over everything uh, about your hair loss and what can be done. We are a medical practice. We are not a retail store. We do not sell things. No one is selling to you. No one's going to push you to sign anything. No one's going to ask you to buy anything. Just come in and get your free information and my guarantees, and we'll talk. All right. For more information and answers to your questions, contact Hair Restoration Aesthetics and Dr. Michael Rosaric by calling 716-500-HAIR. That's 716-500-HAIR, or go to hrabuffalo.com. This is Buffalo on the Rise, I'm Joe Chilly, and with us, Nathan Cross, who is one of the owners of Flamingo Patio. Nathan, welcome to the show. Thank you. Nice to have you here. You didn't have to bring any of that patio furniture, because this stuff is kind of, you know. <laughs> Next stayed. time. Next time? Yeah. Okay, all right, great. You got it. Uh, what in the world made you start patio furniture? I mean, it sounds like a great thing to do. It's a luxury, you know, everybody wants patio furniture, and most patio furniture around here looks like it would break fairly easily. So tell us about... So something. how we got into it is actually kind of interesting. I give it credit to my partner, Brian Carroll, almost entirely. We were doing return and over stock goods and he stumbled into it, found some loads of return patio furniture. And we didn't know how nice it was at the time and we were selling it and it was selling in the off season in the middle of winter. And you're we like, wow, what is this? What is this stuff? And we kind of found out how nice it was and looked around and saw there just was very little uh, available, very little competition in this area. Um, it's actually kind of funny because people are making fun of us for this. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Buffalo has a two month window or three month window for yeah. you can use this. This yeah. is a horrible strategy. Um, but we actually think the opposite. Because of that, no one does it. So there's opportunity for it in this area. And the name Flamingo is, is, you know, rather unique. I mean, first off, when I think of Flamingo, I 
uh, think of certain areas of Western New York. But uh, and that might be pink flamingos. But anyway, uh, it is something that uh, I think, you know, calls to mind usually relaxation or, you know, sitting and having a drink or something like yes, that, right? Yes, precisely, yes. But think of just lounging about. I think flamingos are kind of cool. Could be kind of classy. Can birds be classy? If yeah, I had to pick yeah. a bird to be classy, flamingos would probably be in the 80th percentile. Um, and we used to be flamingo furniture and flooring, okay. and we liked the alliteration, FFF. Oh. And then we were horrible at flooring, and we just <laughs> making mistakes all the time. Being a new business, a startup business, it's just it's comical how much we mess things up. But hopefully, we mess things up only one time and, and learn and move on. So if, flooring's if, a thing of the past. If you learn from it, you know that's a good thing, right? What do you think differentiates you from other? Patio furniture. Okay, so the quality is the biggest thing. Like, almost all of our stuff is just top tier. Like, it's, it's predominantly cast aluminum, high tier cast aluminum. It won't rust if it gets scratched. Uh, powder coated two to five times, so there's sophisticated paints with rich colors, which keeps it from sun fading for a while. Uh, our selection is maybe the most important thing. Like, if you go to other stores, often they have nothing nice, but sometimes they will have like one nice thing per season. Like some big box stores might have one thing. If that one item happens to line up with your tastes perfectly, it's a, a good buy for you. You might want to do that. But with us, we have 80 things that are wonderful and beautiful. And so you actually have selection. You could get wicker. You could get some rope stuff we're actually going to get in, which has been trendy these days. There's the cast aluminum stuff, which is mostly what we have. Exuded aluminum, which is good for kind of modern things with right angles. Chat sets, bar sets, fire pits, dining sets. Swing chairs, I mean, there's just, there's so much stuff. The world is much bigger than I first thought getting into it, so. You know, that's kind of awesome to think of because when you think of, and this might be a misnomer, I, you know, you can tell me if I'm wrong. When I think of patio furniture around the area, I think of people that sell grills and pools, and, it, and it's kind of like an aside. But this is your business. Patio furniture is what you do. Correct, and I think in any business, this is a lesson I've learned far too late in my life, but focus is so important. It's hard enough to get excellent at one thing, and if you're trying to do 10 things or 20 things, it just, it's, it's too hard, it's too much. You fail, or I always do when I try to do that. And uh, we don't do anything else. We specialize in this. Uh, I'm not sure if I should call us experts yet, but we're on the path, at the very least, to becoming that. And um, we feel like other things kind of adulterate what we do. You know, how do you, how do you, uh, you know, avoid people going to like websites to order mm. furniture? Yeah, first off, that's a good you, question. You, know, you, you, you can't really see it, you can't feel it, you don't know what it's really like. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the biggest thing. So, you know, places like Amazon are snapping the necks of retailers mm. worldwide. And uh, I feel like the furniture industry as a whole is a little bit insulated from that because people want to touch it. They want to sit down, they want to feel how it feels when they sit in, how it meshes to their body, how the cushions are, and people are scared to spend significant amounts of money on stuff they've never felt, they've never actually put their, their hands to. We have about a minute left in this segment, so tell us about the free patio rug and umbrella offer that you have. Oh, yes. Uh, so we have some pretty sexy umbrellas and some outdoor rugs. Sexy that, umbrellas. Yes, indeed that we are giving away with any dining sets or chat sets that people get. So our way to encourage people to come in, of course, in general, it's better for a business to do giveaways than to just lower pricing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really nice. Now, these are full-size umbrellas, not the cat I put in Oh, no, drink. no, they're big. Okay. Oh, I just want to make sure. Yeah, they're big. they're big. Big umbrellas. Some umbrella just fabric umbrellas, a lot of them have LEDs, like some of them are three-tier. I mean, they're, no, they're beautiful. <laughs> All right. Nathan Cross from Flamingo Patio, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you so Joining much for having me.
For more information and answers to your questions, contact Flamingo Patio by calling 716-288-6574 or go to flamingopatio.com. Welcome to Buffalo on the Rise. I'm your host, Joe Chilly. With us, Dr. Christian Milioto from Western New York Pain Relief. And everybody experiences pain at one time or another, right? Yes, so, they do. So what do you think, Doc? First, thanks for joining us. Thank but you. What is the most chronic pain that people suffer? What do you hear from, you know, the most? So the, the most chronic type of pain that people feel is related to our joints and our spine. So. Most patients that I work with are a little bit older. That's the demographic that I focus on. Not because I chose that demographic, but as we age, our body naturally starts to break down. We all know that. We start to get neck pain and back pain, our knees hurt, our hips hurt, and we start seeking help for that. Many times people are misguided and they feel that there's a pill or an injection that's going to help them. When the truth of the matter is modern medicine is managing the person's pain and inflammation and not really educating them that these are not long-term relief solutions and they tend to lead to more arthritis. Steroid shots will cause the bone to break down farther. So when people are seeking help for these conditions, they're suffering from disc bulges and herniations, stenosis and sciatica, peripheral neuropathy and balance issues, and then generalized types of arthritis that are creating inflammatory issues that people cannot manage anymore with over-the-counter medications, drugs, or injections. So what you're talking about is people are masking pain instead of finding a solution to the pain, right? And you're talking natural pain relief here. Yeah, well, a lot of times, see, the, the patient themselves doesn't know what they're doing, right? We have chronic pain, I have too. I have disc herniations that I've eliminated with my own treatments. We go and we talk to the doctor and we say, hey, my back hurts, it hurts in the early morning, I can't do gardening, I'm noticing I can't stand or walk for a long period of time at the grocery store without a shopping cart, what's going on? And the doctor says, well, let's get some x-rays. And they say, yeah, you know, you're, you have some degenerative joint disease or you have degenerative disc disease or some patients will come in and say, hey, you know, my feet are burning, they're cold, they're numb, they're tingling, they feel heavy or weak. Oh, well, you have peripheral neuropathy. Well, what do I do about that? And then many times they say, well, you know, we kind of manage it. We're going to try some physical therapy, acupuncture, maybe some chiropractic adjustments. Those things are temporary. And then they say, you know, we're going to give you a medication to help with your inflammation and pain. So, yes, they're masking these symptoms by providing them with a pain medication or an injection, but the patient thinks that they're getting some form of long-term relief when really you're just stopping your body's ability to let you know that something's going on. And then eventually what happens is a patient ends up into my clinic because these things stop working effectively. The pain medication gets stronger and stronger. The dose is higher. The person's getting two or three steroidal injections in their back or in their joints and they're quote unquote falling apart. Now at this point, the pain has gone from acute to severe chronic, and now we have a much different beast that we have to take care of and treat to get that person the relief they need. My clinic uses research and evidence-based medicine. These are specialized treatments that have been around for a very long time. And what I simply did was I focused on people who were developing these conditions, lost the opportunity to heal with other forms of therapy, maybe tried surgery, and they're still living their life in chronic pain. And I focus around customized care designed to that person's root cause of inflammation to solely achieve two main goals, pain relief and quality of life and aging gracefully. Well, do you hear from people often or at all, uh, you know, pain is just a byproduct of me getting older yeah. and there's no cure, you know, there's no cure for it. Uh, everybody gets arthritis, for instance, right? Correct. Okay. So you're going to give them something that's going to help them to manage that or I don't want to use the word cure, make it better? Yeah. So a lot of times people do tell me that I've helped them get 95 to 100% better. I don't use the word cure because I'm not somebody who wants to overpromise and underdeliver. I created my clinic because of my grandma. She had rheumatoid arthritis, spinal stenosis. She was falling apart in front of my eyes at a very young age, living off of Lortabs and steroid injections. 
I realized one day that these things were not fixing her problem, and instead they were degrading her quality of life. My grandma still lives on Fargo Avenue by herself. So you go from a woman who can't drive and walks down to grocery shop all the time and take care of herself to somebody who now has to rely on other people. So when I developed my treatments, I wanted to focus on people who felt hopeless, who had chronic inflammation, who wanted to find a higher level of healing that they were told they couldn't achieve. For example, people who have peripheral neuropathy. What does that mean? The person has numbness, burning, or tingling in their legs and feet. They have heaviness or weakness. But that's just the diagnosis. Where did it come from? Many times the person is, is told by their neurologist or their doctor or surgeon, there's really not much you can do. We're going to put you on gabapentin or Lyrica or Cymbalta. Well, you can treat neuropathy. I have helped many patients who have had balance disorders and uh, these symptoms of numbness, burning, and tingling. We've eliminated them in patients. I've helped people who were in wheelchairs walk, who were told they wouldn't walk again, who just went through chemo or radiation therapy. They had diabetic neuropathy and spinal stenosis. Does that make me anything special? No. What I'm doing is I'm taking the time to deliver the care that that person deserves and needs to help them reach their goals that they want to accomplish. And what we do is we start with a consultation. I figure out what I have to do. I look at their imaging, their comorbid conditions. Are you a diabetic? Do you have blood pressure or cholesterol issues? Have you had medical imaging? Have you had a previous surgery? And then we figure out what we need to do to help that person reduce and eliminate those things and give them their lives back. Dr. Christian, I know that you oftentimes have monthly seminars Yes. and people can get more information. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I have an educational seminar for people to learn about all joint and nerve conditions, why they couldn't achieve relief and what they can do to do it. I host it once a month, every third Wednesday. All right, Dr. Christian Miliotto, thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure as always. For more information and questions, any or to actually get into the seminar, contact Western New York Pain Relief and Dr. Christian Miliotto by calling 716-650-PAIN or go to westernnewyorkpainrelief.com. Thanks for watching this edition of The Big Whack Presents Buffalo on the Rise. For information on this and other shows, go to our website, bigwack.com, and find out how you can participate on the program if you're a hometown business. I'm Joe Chilly. Thanks for watching and listening to The Big Wack, Buffalo's oldie station. The Big Whack presents Buffalo on the Rise was sponsored by Dr. Kaplansky Dental Implants. Get new permanent teeth in 24 hours with our exclusive Teeth Now process.